Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and I am back today for Share a Sun Saturday, which I host here on my channel. And joining me is my beautiful Christian. He is the Mate Sculpt. He is a full body silicone. I bought him through my friend Jaden and I reborned him. He already was painted, but very lightly. So I did go through and paint him up more and give him some milk spots. He's got a couple little scratches and uh, just gave him some extra blushing, redid his nail beds and all of that. And I just love the way he turned out. I would like to welcome all my new subscribers and all of my old subscribers. Thank you for all your love and support. I hope you guys are enjoying my channel and enjoying the babies I show, but also that I run a business selling full body silicones and they are budget babies. I hope you guys are enjoying that. I will be getting one up very soon, a open eye boy. Um, I'll show you again real quick, a picture of him before, and then I'll be reborning him and get him up for sale. And I got a few jobs that I'll be taking in here. I got a few jobs that I just got done with. I just um, uh, rematted and fixed a lot of areas on Dee's baby from the baby patch, her Isaac, and uh, got him shipped home. He's heading home to his mommy. Uh, she might have got him today because it's Saturday. I'm not sure. But if not, she'll be getting him Monday then. And she just absolutely loved the photographs. And um, I would have, um, I don't think I even mentioned that. So if I didn't in the other videos, I don't think I did. I'll throw it into these videos here of his before and after, how um, bad he was that he needed work, you know, because they lose the sill pretty quick, the Skylar Sculpt from Kimberly Keller from Etsy. Um, but uh, beautiful baby just, you know, just loses its seal really, really quick and needs to be matted and all that. So I got him matted to perfection and he should be perfect now. And yeah, I was excited to have him here, my little nephew. And then of course I'm working on um, Topanga. We're getting, we're rooting her. But um, I already did her paint job and everything and now we're rooting her. Anyways, enough talking. We're going to go ahead and read the word and then we'll get on to Christian here. As you see, he's got a beautiful pacifier set. Um, it says Christian Gray, and the other side says Mama's Bear. He's definitely my bear. I've always called him that since I got him. And I'm going to be getting these pacifiers for all the babies, even the um, final babies. I'm going to do the magnet on them. I want all of them to have their first and, and middle name, and then on the clip, what I call them for a nickname or what I just call them. So, yeah, I love that. We're going to be getting him into a nice fall outfit, but let's go ahead and put God first. Do our devotional, our wisdom for the day by Billy Graham. And today we are on October 28th. Wow, it's almost Halloween, you guys. Almost October is done. This one is called Coming in Glory. At that time, men will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Mark 13, 26. Jesus' first coming passed almost unnoticed. Born in a small out-of-the-way town and laid in a manger with only animals and humble shepherds to greet him on that first night, even at the height of his ministry, he could say, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nest, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Luke 9, 58. How different his second coming will be. Then every eye will see him. Revelations 1, 7. And he will come with glory and power to establish his kingdom of perfect justice and righteousness. No one will diminish, dismiss him as insignificant or unimportant. All will acknowledge him as King of kings and Lord of lords. Does that thought of his return fill you with concern or even terror? It shouldn't. Not if you have trusted him as your Lord and Savior and put your life into his hands. Instead, his return should fill you with ex, 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 sorry, expectancy and joy in worship. Make sure you are ready and then pray for his quick return. Amen, 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 you guys. Glory to the heavens. Boy, I can't wait to be in heaven one day. And I hope you guys are not afraid of the return of Jesus to come and get his people. I sure hope that I'm alive when that happens. If not, well, when I die, I don't truly die. I'll be going to heaven. But boy, to know to be here for that day when he returns to take us up in the clouds with him and to take us to heaven, what a day that'll be. It will be nothing like here on earth. This is not our permanent home. Our permanent home is in heaven if you want it. If you have your salvation and you're ready, 
boy, it's going to be glorious, right? Walking streets of gold. And I hope you guys got your salvation. If you didn't get it, ask the Lord into your heart today. Ask for forgiveness. Ask the Holy Spirit to come in and get your salvation today on October 28th, 2023. Write it down that you know then that you are heaven bound. You will never be afraid anymore of death or you know, when Jesus returns, because what's to be afraid when you go to heaven and everything's perfect compared to living here? Boy, I can't wait one day to be in the presence of the Lord, looking at the man that died on a cross for us. Can you believe he did that for us? I can't wait to hug him. Boy, I've had a lot of shame though in my life what I've done to him, but he loves us no matter what he loves us. So I hope you guys are ready for the coming in glory. The wisdom for today, we wait for great expectation, Jesus, for the day you return and we all behold you with our very own eyes. We will see the one in whom we have believed and our faith will finally be sight. What we have put our faith in to believe without being, you know, we're seeing or believing without seeing. We are finally going to see and just think that Billy Graham right now is in heaven rejoicing with the Lord. He was an amazing man, Billy Graham. He was a great uh you know, preacher and just preach the great word. And I just love everything he has to say in these books. I'm going to be getting another one of his, but I got the wisdom one and I loved it. I'm going to get the other one. I just love these. I got it from Walmart. You guys, if you'd like to pick one up, they were at Walmart, but what great wisdom and insight, just knowing that one day we're going to be there in that anticipation of just seeing our Lord, how beautiful he's going to be, how beautiful it'll be to be in heaven with him and all the wonderful people that are there in heaven right now, waiting upon all of us. And no more pain, sorrow, hurt, anguish, none of it. It's all gone. Then you guys, just happiness, happiness, happiness. I hope you guys enjoyed these verses today on coming in glory. And like I always say, let's start our day, go through our day, and end our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, get a great personal relationship with Jesus, but honor and obey this word. Read his love story. He's got so much to say in here to us, you guys. And he's telling us in Revelations what's going to happen if you're not right. So get right today. And read this beautiful word. Come on, you guys. Let's get right with God today. And I read these for myself to help me to grow in my faith. But I hope I can touch another soul out there. Pick up this beautiful word that God had written for us and read it and enjoy every word that comes from it. Enjoy it. Boy, it's a great book to read. You like to read, read the Bible. That's a great book to read and important to be starting our day every day, giving it to God, all the glory to him and thanking him for just giving us another day. Did you thank him today for waking you? What a gift. What a gift. All right, you guys, let's get on to my beautiful Christian. Like I said, that I reborn and made just more beautiful. He is so gorgeous in there. Look at him. But while I was doing it, look at these hands. He's got his hands stretched out on both sides, and he scratched his little face twice. We'll take out his little nook because he's sleeping. This beautiful nook. Look at this beautiful nook, you guys. I love it. Let me show you this up close. It is so pretty. Um, Octavia's got one, Christian's got one, and my Isaiah's got one. I'm doing it for all the babies, but aren't these gorgeous? And I'm doing them all in the clear so it matches everything for them. But I love them. I love the sparkle and bling on them. They're just gorgeous. But here he is, you guys. Look at him. He takes nooks so good. He's got that open mouth. He does have a swivel. I keep forgetting to tell you guys. He is two pieces, so his head does swivel. Um, I don't know if I like it or I don't like it. It's like you either like it or you don't. I like that the head swivels, but I do like a baby to be all one piece, but it is nice that the head can move for me, like to the side, but most of my babies, um, the ones I get, um, do have the ability to turn your head a little bit, you know, turn their little heads or whatever. But yeah, he's got, um, two pieces to him. So he is a baldy. I am going to be rooting him, but look at that beautiful head. Look at where like the soft spot would be on the head and how I did all of his veining and everything. He is stunning. You guys absolutely stunning. And uh, I just love him. I love him. We need to get him out of this outfit, though, because it is cold. Yes, it's getting cold, buddy. And he is just sleeping away. He is such a good baby. He really is. Like I always say, my boys are so passive. And my girls, they're a little bit louder and and uh, a little bit more of an attitude. <laughs> Some of my girls are passive. My little Angelica is a very passive baby. I've noticed so far she's very sweet, but that's that little angel in her. Let me take his little bear. He's a Libra. He is. He, I was given him in September, uh, so that would be his birth date, and so he is a Libra like his daddy. My husband's also is a Libra. He's October 13th, and uh, he came one day before I got him. This goes to October 12th, um, September 23rd. I got him on September 22nd is when I got him, I believe. Yeah, it was the 22nd of September. So he is a Libra. He just fell right into that. Or it was the 23rd. No, it was the 23rd. So he fell right smack as a Libra. And I thought that was neat because he's like his daddy and his daddy's pretty passive. My husband's very passive and 
He's like his daddy. But look at the art on this baby. I'll get up close so you can see his face. Look at the beautiful art and uh, his veining and mottling and all that, his little scratches, his milk spots. See, that's how I do know how to do milk spots. Uh, little Heavenly, I did them more prominent because it looks like angel kisses and I was copying it from my uh, little niece. Uh, well, my niece, she's not little anymore, but my niece. And so you see, I do know how to do milk spots. <laughs> um, but uh, here he is, look at his beautiful hand and the nail beds I redid, all the art on his hands and then his legs and his feet. He is a 30 Ecoflex. We'll take this off so you can see his feet. I will be putting these back on him, though. He's just going to stick with these socks. There's his beautiful feet. Look at how beautiful all the veining I did and everything. He is so beautiful and so soft now because he was filled with that silicone velvet. That is the greatest, you guys. And you see how I can turn his head um, both ways. I always forget to show you guys that, but let me show you because, see, he is two pieces. So the head does come off, but not easy. Don't worry, it doesn't come off easy. And because I sealed them with silicone velvet, um, it's velvety soft inside there, so I don't even have to powder that. I don't even have to powder these babies once I use silicone velvet. Let's make sure that he's fully in there. I want his head, feet, everything in there. Let's kind of drop him down just a little bit so that you guys can see his whole head and everything. Look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? We're going to leave the onesie on him because I like onesies on my babies, especially in the uh, winter time. Uh, fall and winter. We're going to put him in this cute outfit. I've been dying to put this on him. I got it when Jaden was here. Jaden actually got it for me, I think from a Goodwill. But it's a four-piece outfit. So it's a navy blue and white um, outfit, little jacket with the little pants, okay? And it is a zero to three. He's a zero to three. It um, kind of goes over to the side. It's got, it's more gray than white. I thought it was white. It is more, a little, maybe it is white. It's whitish gray, really, really light. And it's got a little um, truck on it, a little uh, bulldozer. And it says, Daddy Digs Me. Isn't that cute? I love the yellow in that. And that's done in the yellow. And then the navy blue. The matching pants with it. They're just long pants with feet in it. It has the feet in it. But we still are going to do the little white socks with it that he was wearing. And then it's got a matching bib with all the little um, dump trucks on it and the uh, diggers and all of that, and it's trimmed in the navy blue. The bib is white, and the little uh, trucks and everything on it are yellow, and it's got a matching hat, too, you guys. Look at this. Trimmed in navy blue, and it matches the bib, all white with all the little, um, you know, all the mach the machineries, the dump trucks and the uh, sand lifters and the, um, the little um, machines that do the, uh, what is that called, the cement, cement trucks. So yeah, it's just adorable, you guys, and he's going to look cute in this. I can't believe I never got a chance to put this on him yet. So this is what he's going in, and then um, we're going to just give him back his regular passy because I was going to say his passy, but, um, you know, which one I was using, but I forgot. He's always going to stick with that same pacifier so it matches everything. But anyways, how are you guys doing on this fine Saturday? I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Hope you're enjoying it and everything's going well so far. Everything going good. Hope you're giving all the glory to God. That's where we need to give it, where it's due. And I just hope that you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Wherever you live, if you're here in Minnesota or in a cold state and it's getting cold for you, well, that's just part of life, right? Kind of stinks, but it's part of life. Um, and I do love when it when the snow does come. I know you guys say, don't talk about snow. Some people love it. Some people don't. I love it for uh, Thanksgiving and for Christmas, and then it can go, right? And then it can go. Well, maybe even New Year's, but then it can go. It can go. <laughs> yeah, but then we have it for another like four months. So yeah, gets pretty, pretty snowy here in Minnesota. If you're in Minnesota, you know what I'm talking about, or even close to Minnesota, like Wisconsin that borders us. Uh, always very cold weather. So we'll get his little jacket on him. I keep messing with this blanket, buddy. Yeah, but you're just sleeping away so good. Yeah, you're sleeping away so good. I filled up his tummy and uh, he's happy. Look at how easy the clothes go on, you guys, because he's got silicone velvet and that's why. But also he is a 30 Ecoflex, so it's a little easier to change him. But I do prefer um, the 20 Ecoflex. But that being said, on some of my babies, my Toby that I showed you guys, he is a 30 Ecoflex as well, and he, this one is. And I don't mind it on some of my boys because it just makes them, like, some seem more tougher or whatever. But, um, yeah, he's, I do like his silicone very much. I do, I do, I do. Look at how cute. Oh, my goodness. He is adorable. Yes, let's put your hat on, buddy. Yeah, let's get this hat on you. This is going to be the cutest outfit ever, and I've been dying to put this on him. This is like a mushroom hat. Look at this. 
Oh my God, it's like a mushroom hat. Look at that, can you guys see that? It's like a little mushroom hat. Oh, you can't see that. Let's see if I can get them down more where you guys can see that. It's like a mushroom hat. Of course, I'll take really great photos and all of that. Let's get the little bib on him too. We might as well give him the bib too. Just get this whole outfit together that, oh, mommy did it backwards. Mommy did it backwards. Yeah, see, we don't want that to show. Oh no, I, I did it right. I thought I did it backwards. Oh, it goes two ways. Look at that, guys. I didn't even notice that. Daddy digs me. Look at all of that. I didn't even notice that. But I want the white to match the hat. Um, actually, yeah, I can because I can remove that. Um, I will be removing that tag, you guys. But I want to put it on this way. I guess it can go both ways. It's, it's a reversible. It can go both ways. And I just want the, the trucks to show to match the hat. And I'll get rid of that tag there. But let's see if I can get them up here to show you. Look at that mushroom hat. Let's see if I can get it. Up. Oops, sorry. See that mushroom hat? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Let's see if I can show you a little better. Oh my goodness, look at that face. Mwah! Look at that face, guys. Isn't he beautiful? Oh my goodness, he's gorgeous. Yes, he is gorgeous. He is the best baby ever. Yes, look at that little hand. See, he scratched his face. See, he put it up there and he scratched when I was doing that. Yes, yes, he did. He scratched his face. He is so gorgeous. So gorgeous, little man. Yes, you are. He represents like about a two-month-old, um, but uh, great baby. Like I said, hopefully he's all in frame. Yeah, oh, he's so adorable. I'll get rid of that tag. Don't worry. Let's give him back his nook. Yeah, and his nook, I am going to put a little bit of the KY. I use KY jelly, you guys, on my silicones. Water-based KY. Don't get any kind of a heat on it or anything. You know, some come with the heat and stuff like that, but believe it or not, a lubricant works great for putting these nooks in so you don't ruin their little mouths. You don't want to ruin their little silicone. So definitely do that and then watch. Bam, slides right in. But he's got a great mouth. But they do slide in really easy and then we're just gonna hook this to his bib and I will get rid of that. I promise I'll get rid of that, that tag. I just, I guess it's probably not supposed to go that way or you cut it off, but it, why would it have that side, right? I don't understand, but yes, here you go. Here is your lovey back. And you are looking handsome, boy. Yes, you are. You look adorable and perfect for the fall. Perfect fall colors. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. And we actually will pop this out quick so he can kiss you. Mm -hmm. Say, I love God. I love my mommy and daddy. I love my aunties and uncles and cousins out there and the grandma and grandpas out there. And I love you guys as well. Mm -hmm. But remember, remember, remember who loves you the most. God, he loves you the most. And get ready for the return of the Lord. How glorious that will be one day. How glorious that will be. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Thank you.